Good evening. Thank you for watching 10 News at 6. I'm Robin Wilhoyt. And I'm John Becker. Right now, the Knox County School Board is debating a resolution opposing the plan by Governor Bill Lee to expand school vouchers in Tennessee. The governor calls them freedom scholarships. They give families thousands of dollars in public dollars to spend on private schools. That meeting started an hour ago, and yesterday we sat down with seven superintendents in East Tennessee who are all against the plan. Do you support, with a show of hands, the latest plan by the governor to use public dollars to support private education? If you're in favor of it, raise your hand. Right now, 10 News reporter Olivia Daig joining us from outside the Knox County Board of Education meeting. Olivia. John Robin, there are 160 people here, a lot of them wearing red, a lot of them groups supporting this, um, this resolution against school vouchers. But Knox County Schools is not the only district discussing whether vouchers would be harmful for their district. We sat down with seven school superintendents. They're all opposed. Here's what they had to say. We invited every school district superintendent in our viewing area to discuss school vouchers. Seven attended. You can be a Republican and still support public schools and be anti-voucher. You can be a Democrat and still support public. It's, it's really not a partisan issue. As proposed, Governor Billy's school voucher plan would allow 20,000 students to get a $7,000 voucher to go towards private schools. The superintendent for Scott County Schools says it's a taxpayer issue. The biggest thing for me is taking uh, money that's funded for the public school system, put in the private sector, uh, especially without the accountability that comes upon all of us. And taxpayer dollars should mean accountability. That's something the superintendent for Oneida says all teachers face in public school. When they say every minute of our day is scheduled, it is literally every minute of our day. It's nothing against private schools, but they have the opportunity to attend school five and a half hours, and then they may go do some, some sort of extracurricular activity, you know, that's completely outside of anything that we are allowed to do. And so how is that, how is that fair? Here in Knox County, um, Knox County School Superintendent Dr. John Ricewick gave us a statement. It says the district is focused on providing a high quality education for all students and he is confident that families will recognize that commitment. Now, Dr. Ricewick did not attend our roundtable discussion. We did invite him twice and you'll hear more from these superintendents Sunday morning on Inside Tennessee. And right now, the school board is voting on this measure. We'll have updates to come. John, Robin. Full coverage tonight on 10 News at 11. Thank you, Olivia.